Hey guys, Vince here. Uh, just want to give you a quick video of the Kindle ebook template, show you some of the features and what you're going to be getting when you purchase this little goodie. It's basically just a Microsoft Word document, and also in the zip file, you're also going to receive a DOT file. So if you wanted to use this as a as a true Microsoft Word document template, you can. Um, I'm also going to include a uh, open office version of the file as well. So for you guys that don't have Microsoft Office or Word, then you can use the open office open source software and still get the benefit of using the template. Okay, in the template, uh, just to give you a bit of a background on what I did, um, I basically took all the recommendations from Amazon on how to create a really good ebook or book for that matter um, and I took those recommendations and I turned those into a template that you can use including all of the formatting uh, for Kindle so that it'll be easy enough for you to just go in and plug in your content and be able to publish your book to the Kindle so I'm kinda go, go, go through this really quick because there's not really a whole lot to it as far as the template itself uh, but on the title page it's basically your book title and your name and an image of your book cover. Now Amazon likes if you include your book cover image at 1000 by 1600 pixels and this is also the same uh, image size for the separate file that you would upload for your for your book cover image. So 1000 by 1600 and you will be good to go there. Uh, if you have a subtitle for your ebook or book then you want to put that right below the the image and also you could put it above if you wanted to but I kinda like this this particular format um, on the second page this is where you're gonna put your copyright and and other notices uh, many attributions that you wanna give as well uh, you could do that here um, and then I also created uh, gave you a link to some resources where if you wanted to find some copyright uh, text that you could put in your ebook you can grab that from this side here and then the rest of the pages uh, are basically the dedication. You want to have that. If you don't have one, no big deal. Just delete the page uh, when you create your ebook. And then a preface slash prologue. If you have that, then you want to include it. If not, again, just delete the page. Then you have a dynamically created table of contents. Um, so what you're going to do as you build your book is you'll have your chapter as the first line and then you want to just set that to a heading one in the word document and then that will automatically get it to be included as a table of contents uh, chapter item and since this is a template and you get uh, full access to it I mean you can easily go in and modify anything here that you wanted uh, we don't use page numbers in ebooks for the Kindle because they're pretty much useless since as you scale a document on the Kindle a uh, book on the Kindle uh, the page numbers are are all out of whack so they don't recommend including page numbers I did include uh, a chapter number or a numbered list of, of items that are in the book but this again you can easily edit this and remove that if you wanted to and then these uh, are hyperlinks to the chapters themselves so as you add chapters and you add content you just go in and you update the table and that will pull in any new chapters that you add so again header one for the chapter titles and then your text is just going to be uh, set it to normal times new roman 12 um, but again uh, the kindle is going to reformat that as as the user changes their text size a uh, couple other pages that i added that you may want to use is about the author uh, any information you want to include about yourself you could do that here um, and then any other contact information that you may or may not want to add but again since it's a template if you don't need these pages, just go in and delete them, and you'll be good to go. Uh, thanks again for the purchase, and if you have any problems, just uh, email me, support at jadistech.com, and I'll get right back to you. Thanks.